Greetings there, everybody. It's Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft. On our last episode, we played through the sixth level, yet another non-base building campaign. I don't want to jinx myself. I like those. But we escorted Kael'thas, um, and he basically is kind of teaming up with not really the Alliance, just the Night Elves um, and the Sentinels. And because we rescued him or escorted his caravan, on the downside, we lost to Rhonda, but on the upside, we gained his help to help um, kind of whether he likes it, you know, even if it's not what he wanted to do um, in fighting down Illid, uh, hunting down Illidan. So stay a while and listen as we kind of see the chronicles of how this Sentinels campaign wraps up. This will cover the, uh, the material in the last two levels. So after this, we'll be able to wrap up that first campaign. It's called Children of Blood and Stars. Though many pockets of Alliance resistance were scattered across Lordaeron, the largest group had gathered in Silver Pine Forest. This force was led by a human, Grand Marshal Othmar Garethos. As the highest ranking survivor of Lordaeron's military, Garethos was leader of the army by chance, not because of merit. He was far from the ideal commander. Garethos was an ill-tempered and xenophobic man who scorned the non-human races in his ranks. Prince Kael'thas Sunstrider and his Blood Elves were not spared from the Grand Marshal's bigotry. When the Prince pledged his loyalty to the Alliance Resistance, Garethos accepted it purely out of necessity. He made no attempt to hide his disdain for the Elves. Despite the chilly reception, Kael'thas committed himself and his people to the war effort. The Blood Elves quickly proved themselves to be one of the most effective fighting forces in the Alliance army. They seized large swaths of land in Silver Pine Forest and slowly worked their way toward the ruins of Dalaran. Broken City was still partially under the control of the Kirin Tor, but the surrounding land was swarming with undead. As Kael'thas approached Dalaran, he made an unsettling discovery. The air crackled with unseen arcane energy, and the earth trembled beneath his feet. Somewhere near Dalaran, a storm of magic was brewing. Whatever this disturbance was, it threw the scourge into a frenzy. Undead streamed into the region in greater numbers than ever before. The Blood Elves braced against the tide of undead, and each day was a struggle to hold their ground. Kael'thas was in the midst of pulling his soldiers back from the front lines when he crossed paths with strangers from a distant land. After braving foul weather and rough seas, Maiev Shadow Song, Toronto Whisperwind, Malfurion Stormrage, and other Night Elves had reached Lordaeron's coast in pursuit of Illidan. Blood Elves and Night Elves shared a common ancestry, but their cultures were vastly different. However, Kael'thas did not find this off-putting. There was much he could learn from his distant cousins, perhaps even something to help ease his people's magical withdrawal. When Kael'thas discovered that the Night Elves were hunting a powerful demon named Illidan, he theorized that the creature might be responsible for the anomaly in Dalaran. That would explain why the Scourge had suddenly become so frenzied. Kael'thas agreed to aid the Night Elves in their hunt for Illidan's storm rage. After more than 10,000 years of separation, the divided Elven societies were working together for a common good. That's actually kind of what we just saw. Um, doesn't really talk that much about what's going to happen next, and I wonder how much Chronicles is going to diverge because the next campaign is really, the, it's called the Alliance campaign, but really it could be considered the Blood Elf campaign. So I wonder if we're dipping into that territory here. Um, but either way, we've got another episode in the pipe five by five and we'll wrap up this first campaign and see where we're going next. Thank you everyone so much for watching and listening and I will see you next time on more of Warcraft.